Welcome back everybody. I'm back in the home office. It feels amazing and what better way to celebrate fall break than to do another keyboard video. So this keyboard in front of me is from EC Technology. It costs $35 but it is no regular keyboard and if this video reaches a thousand likes and every thousand likes after that I will be giving one away. All you have to do is like the video and comment down below and I'll announce the winners in the comments as we reach those milestones. So this keyboard, what makes this keyboard special is not the switches, it's not the layout, it's not the materials made, it folds. Real quick, yesterday I uploaded a video which was a channel update and a Q&A and it didn't go to all your sub boxes, so if you haven't seen it and you want to see it, click the card on screen now, otherwise enjoy the video. Yeah, no, but in all reality, what makes this keyboard special is that it folds. Last week, I did a video on a rollable keyboard that's made of rubber, and it was basically the, the purpose of that was to make it portable and really easy to carry around, but where it failed is that it was really hard to type on and get correct key actuation. Whereas with this keyboard, you get this double butterfly folding design, so it gets into this really small form factor that you can throw in your bag or put anywhere really, but then when it comes out, it stays pretty rigid, it's made of metal, and you got a real keyboard with actual switches down there that feels normal to type on, and that's what's key. A keyboard that feels normal to type on that you can type on effectively and take notes with. With that rubber keyboard, I couldn't take notes with that, I messed up like every other character. With this, the spacing is a little tight because they're trying to save space obviously to make it as portable as possible, but it's still possible to type on at a normal, like regular, acceptable typing pace so you can still get stuff done. Now there is actually a pretty wide market for foldable keyboards. Most of them have just a single flap, so they'll just fold in half and then that's how they'll become more portable. EC technology went the way of a butterfly design like this. This is not sponsored, they did not send this out, I just went and bought it. Uh, it has this butterfly design and that's why I got this one because it looked more interesting. So you just close it like that, it has some magnets in there so when it's closed it's not going to come open and then when it's open it's not just going to come closed. And honestly it's built really well, it's made of aluminum, the magnets in there work, it feels like a solid piece of technology and I can actually type on it. Considering how small of a footprint it has, it's honestly really impressive, I'm loving this. It does have Bluetooth connectivity, so that's how it connects to your things. Uh, it is wireless, so you charge it through this micro USB port, and I'm assuming that this whole centerpiece back here is the battery, so that's obviously what keeps it charged. I have not used it from fully charged to death yet, so I don't know what the entire battery life is, but it's gonna be pretty solid because keyboards themselves don't take up a huge amount of power. So, with that out of the way, I think all there is left to do is do a typing test and see how it performs. Got it, all right, it's pairing. Slowly, lucky pair. Still trying to pair. Uh, it's been a couple minutes. I'll turn Bluetooth on and off for both. Two hours later. It's working, maybe. Okay, we're loading. Got a nice orange bar loading. Oh yeah, almost done. We're actually connected this time, are we working? Yes, okay, now I'm gonna take up, or uh, pull up a type racer. So the keys are definitely smushed together a little bit and they might not even be the full size, I think they're definitely small, which is gonna make it interesting with typing errors, but I also think it might make me type faster because pressing the keys is very little actuation, very little force needed, so it's easy to do, and they're close together, so it might actually end up being really fast. All right, 40 words per minute on the first one. Uh, I'm gonna do it one more time just to, I don't know, the, the spacing of the backspace and the shift are really what got me. It made it really difficult to uh, like click the right capital letter or backspace the right amount. I'm gonna give it one more try to see if it's just a matter of getting used to. Hopefully I can get at least like 75 words per minute, but we'll see. Okay, so the second one was 86 words per minute, and that's a lot better because it had a lot less like apostrophes and capital letters, so it was easier to type. So in conclusion, this is actually a really awesome portable keyboard. It, the way it folds up is awesome, the switches feel nice to type on. If it wasn't for the spacing of the modifier keys all around, then it would be a really usable keyboard. So if you're taking notes and you don't need perfectly correct typing and you just want to jot your thoughts down, this will be fantastic. Throw it in your backpack, you won't regret it. Really awesome keyboard. The hinge mechanism is really cool and smart and fun to use. I like it. 
Good job, EC Technology. You've got my approval. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, that was kind of cool. Stay classy.